Welcome to the Psy Guys. On today's episode, Liquid Density. Hey, I'm Ryan. I'm Mark. Welcome to the Psy Guys. On today's episode, we're going to be talking about the density of liquids. Hey, who are you calling dense? The density of a liquid is determined by its mass, or how closely together the molecules of that liquid are packed. For this experiment, the equipment you're going to need is a glass or similar container to build your density tower in, a bowl to store your liquids in, a spoon for mixing, and a turkey baster to gently add your liquids to your tower. Although we're not dealing with anything hazardous in this episode, it's never a bad idea to wear safety glasses and an apron or lab coat to protect from spills and splashes. The ingredients you're going to need for this experiment include rubbing alcohol, some dish soap, lamp oil, baby oil, and a couple colors of food coloring. We're also going to need a couple ingredients from the pantry and the fridge. The ingredients we're going to need from the cupboard are extra virgin olive oil, canola oil or vegetable oil, corn syrup, honey, and chocolate syrup. From the fridge, all we'll need is some whole milk and some maple syrup. Now that we have all our ingredients, we're ready to start. The first step is to take your honey and pour it straight down to the bottom of your cup without hitting the edges of the glass. If the honey touches the side of the glass, it is best to wash your glass out and start over. Honey on the side of the glass can mess with the rest of the layers. Next, fill the turkey baster with corn syrup. The turkey baster will help us to gently add the liquids to our tower without disturbing the layer below it. Now gently squeeze the turkey baster so some of the corn syrup rests on top of the honey layer. After making your syrup layer, wash and dry your turkey baster. You will need to wash and dry the turkey baster after each liquid has been added to your tower. Next, use the turkey baster and slowly add the chocolate syrup into the glass. From this point on, you may need to put your finger over the end of the turkey baster so you can get it low enough to add the layers without disturbing the previous one. Now, add the maple syrup. As you can see from our tower, a little bit of the chocolate coloring from the previous layer mixed with the maple syrup because we added it too quickly. To avoid this, add the maple syrup as gently as possible. Our next liquid to add is the whole milk. Now add the dish soap. Before you add the next layer, which is water, mix in a little bit of food coloring. We are using purple to make it stand out from the rest of our liquids. After the food coloring is mixed in, gently add the water to your tower with the baster. Next, add the vegetable oil to your tower. Then the extra virgin olive oil. Now before you add the rubbing alcohol, mix in a little bit of food coloring. We are using green so it stands out. Then, gently add it to your tower with the turkey baster. Now add the baby oil to your tower. The final layer we will add to our tower is the lamp oil. You now have a density tower that has 12 different layers and shows how different liquids can be stacked because of the differences in their density. Let's look at this a little closer. The density of a liquid is determined by how many molecules of a substance fit into a set volume. If you remember from our electrolysis of water video, water has around this many molecules of H2O in every 8 ounce cup. This is because water molecules have a specific size and they like to stay a specific distance away from each other. If an 8 ounce cup of a different liquid has more molecules, or if the molecules are larger, then it will have a higher density than water. And if a liquid has less molecules, or those molecules are smaller, then it will have a lower density than water. A liquid that has larger molecules that are closer together will have more mass or weight than a liquid that has smaller molecules that are spread further apart. This tells us that if a liquid weighs more than another liquid, and they are of equal volumes, then the heavier liquid has a greater density than the lighter liquid. Liquids with higher densities will sink below liquids with lower densities. If we look at our glass, the liquid at the bottom of the glass, which is honey, has the highest density, and the liquid at the top of the glass, which is lamp oil, has the lowest density. There are other forces that are contributing to how these liquids layer, but we will examine these in future episodes. Well, that's it for liquid density. 
Thanks for watching and remember to subscribe and comment below. Be sure to like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And as always, if you have any questions related to science or if you're having trouble in school, you can ask us questions in the comments below or on Facebook. That's it. Goodbye. See ya. Here at SciGuys, we're always curious how experiments turn out. So if you do these experiments at home, record them and submit them to us as a video reply to this video. But remember, always get your parents' permission before you submit any videos to YouTube.